Well, maybe, maybe I never told you this one. I'm probably just wanting to say, um, apart from the fact that I will be saying something, probably because they know that uh, everything that I could say about my wife, I think I wrote it in a book. He who finds a wife finds a good thing. Um, <laughs> Apart from the salvation of my soul and the baptism in the Holy Spirit, the best thing that God has done for me is to give me a good one. Well, maybe, maybe I never told you this one. I'm probably just wanting to say, um, apart from the fact that we suffered together, apart from the fact that of all the people who were courting her, I was the poorest, uh, she's a princess, and uh, I'm a nobody, etc., etc. Apart from all those ones that, I mean, uh, you know, when the Lord was uh, dying on the cross, he looked down from the cross and saw one fellow and said, hey, boy, look after my mother. Uh, apart from the fact that when I was coming to do my postgraduate studies, I could hand over my mother to this woman and I knew she would take care. The fellow who can take care of your mother. The fellow you can trust your mom to. Particularly when you happen to be the only son of that mom. And then now somebody will now come and begin to tell you something about that woman. The best thing to do is just kill that fellow. Uh -huh. But uh, apart from that, uh, there was a time we, I decided to fast, you know, because I have faced challenges in my life. And there was a particular one that I, I knew this one is going to require fasting and prayer. So I decided I will fast. I fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And of course, you know, whatever I'm doing, she's doing. Um, she's very kind. She knows it's not going to be easy to fast 40 days and 40 nights if your wife is sitting. Uh, and uh, I'm telling you, <laughs> I've, I'm yet to meet a better cook than my wife. Uh, so. In order not to get me tempted, when I'm fasting, she will be fasting. Forty days, forty nights, I fasted and prayed, and uh, the mountain remained. So I felt, well, if forty days and forty nights won't solve the problem, let's, let me try a second time. Another forty days and forty nights, and she joined me. And the mountain remained. So I said, all right, I think what I will do is this. Uh, my dear, I'm going to fast until this problem is solved. At least if God sees that I'm about to die, he will have to respond. So uh, let's reach an agreement. By the time we reach 40 days and 40 nights, if this problem is not yet solved, you will break and I will continue. And we agreed. Then 40 days and 40 nights came. <laughs> and the mantic was uh, a little bigger than before we started. <laughs> so if you think you have seen mountains before, I have seen maybe one or two. So I decided I will continue. So my dear, thank you very much. You've done your bit. I mean, 40 days, 40 nights, three times in one year. Oh, I mean, you have to be a very special wife. 
So thank you very much. She said, no. When you stop is when I stop. Ah. Uh, that's not what we agreed upon. No. And when I'm talking of fasting, I'm, <laughs> I'm talking of fasting. You know, that kind of fasting that uh, all the holes in your belt, you have to punch new ones uh, because you have uh, contracted a little bit. 41st day, 42nd day, and she refused to stop. She said, no, you keep going. We're in this together. That's why I said to God, well, solve the problem if you want to. I'm not going to lose my wife. I was compelled to break after 42 days because my wife says, I'm not stopping unless you stop. And that's the kind of woman my wife is. <laughs> So when, you, when a man says, I want to spend the rest of my life with a woman, and the woman is someone who says, well, if you have to die, we die together. And then if you want to live, you live together. So if anybody sees the glory of God in our lives today, and is uh, upset, may God forgive. If you see the glory and you don't know the story, may God forgive you. Um, 